Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Linda Mary Montano. I'm a conceptual and performance artist. Welcome to my performance teaching series on video. Part one, background. I would like to begin with some background on my work. I've performed over 75 major events since 1969 using the themes of endurance, humor, integrating spiritual traditions, and eliminating the distinctions between art and life. I have taught performance since 1970 and have produced a series of videotapes describing my teaching method. These tapes are distributed by the Video Data Bank in Chicago. Their number is one 800-634-8544. The tape you will see tonight is titled Seven Stages of Intoxication, and its number is 472. It addresses the theme self-portrait. The self that I play in all the female roles in this tape is that of the alcoholic. You may ask, why do I do this to myself, since the alcoholic is seen so negatively in our culture? Here are my reasons. As a postmenopausal woman, I have been faced with new challenges. They are aging, wrinkles, a new body image, and a need to establish a deeper inner self. As a result, I have had to let go, give up, and surrender some old ideas about my looks. How do I use performance to accomplish this task? Performance is the place where I therapeutically practice what is missing in my life. What I miss now is self-acceptance, and to do that, I have to change outdated beliefs. So I have translated the letting go that I need into a metaphor, and the metaphor that I am using is alcoholism. The logic goes like this. To get old, you have to surrender youth, and some alcoholics seem to surrender and let go when they drink. So, by acting drunk, I might be able to learn that it's okay to surrender to aging. I use alcohol in a four-part way. One, as a vehicle to practice letting go. Two, as a way to feel what it is like to be an alcoholic since people in my life suffered from this disease. Three, as a way to become more acquainted with my negative shadow self, which is capable of destructive behavior. Four, as a way to feel a mystical state of having no boundaries. Part two, the actions. I will perform seven actions as if drunk so that I can enter states of abandon, disgust, rage, and antisocial behavior. My theory is that by acting out these negative qualities as art, I can admit that one, negative qualities are in me and not to be feared. Two, negative qualities, when transformed, can become material for art. Three, negative qualities have things to teach me. Four, negative qualities give me energy when I give them attention. Part Three, the tape. Now the tape will begin. 
After the seven actions, I will give you an assignment. So, stay tuned. for inviting me to the uh, symposium, Art and the Apocalypse. Uh, I'm attending by video and uh, just wanted to let you know what I've been doing these days. I'm at, in Texas here at the University of Texas in Austin. And uh, things are going pretty well. Um, postmenopausal, working on different things, trying to get some books out, working a lot on death and music and stuff, you know, same stuff, death music. Um, menopause. Stuff like that. And um, I was really looking forward to uh, laying in those hot springs there. But you know how it is. I couldn't, I couldn't make it with a schedule here, and uh, and my alcohol problem. There's a lot to deal with. So anyway, I'm here. I'm here. Did you want to give a ring or anything? I don't know. I really love to be with you. In the, you know, hot springs. I don't know. But I don't know. I just can't get a hold of, you know, stuff. I, I mean, I'm really angry about what's happening out there. Um, I have a lot to be angry about myself. I have a lot to be angry about. I'm, I'm just beginning to feel it, you know? Uh, I mean, not to be the victim or anything, but there's a lot out there, you know, you know the end of this end of the <clears throat> year 2000 and stuff. It's just a lot. There's a lot to put up with. Um, I mean, I'm coping pretty well. I mean, I'm, I'm coping with it, but man, I mean, I'm, I'm really tired of it. I'm tired of it myself. But I love you all. I love you all, though. I really, I really love you. And, um, I mean, I love you, and, um, you know, anytime you want to get together, you know, any place, and talk about anything, and, you know, Um, over a drink or something, just let me know. And I mean, hey, I I've gotten this far.
and you said the payment was coming. Right. Okay. Now, I want to hear, I want to hear by next Tuesday. Right. No. I, I want it here by next Tuesday, Don. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm doing really fine. No, I, I've been, you know, I've been seeing a counselor and everything. I'm doing very fine. Uh-huh. 
I'm doing fine. I'm doing really fine. I told you I was seeing a counselor. It is possible that we will get back together, Don. Okay, I have a cold, I can't talk. No. What? I'm doing fine. I am seeing a counselor, John. I'm really doing fine. Goodbye. Yes, you can come over and see Daniel on Friday. Yes. Bye. I'll see you. That's it. I'm really worried about it. I mean, what, what's going on? It's, it's been going on like week after week, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I mean, but I don't, I don't know how to deal with it. I mean, she... I mean, I'm like, so hey, what are you talking about? You haven't been around for a while. I mean, all hell's been breaking loose here. Maybe that right. drinking problem has gotten out of control. Yeah, I mean, are you serious? She shows up drunk or what? <laughs> Basically, I mean, she, she can't... She can't do critique. She doesn't. She's not here when when we're trying to do performances. She's not. She can't. She can't interact it's with us It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, for someone who claims she's so spiritual, I mean, she's taking part of our spirit with her addiction. I mean, she has us delve into our problems, but she can't even address her own. I really, I don't have any idea. Hey, Linda. Hey, Joe. Hey. Joe, get up. Would you get the room set up for Tai Chi? And we're going we're gonna to start immediately, okay? Okay. What are we, what are we doing tonight? Tai Chi. Get the room set up, okay? Robert? I have something to tell you. I'm not the same person you knew 20 years ago, you know? Like, a lot has happened. A lot's happened. I mean, I still look pretty good to, to you, don't I? I mean, I, I can tell. I, I look pretty good to you, you know? I mean, I look pretty good. My leg, you know, the legs. I look pretty good here. The skin is holding up pretty good. So, honey, you know, you know, hun. I'm just not sure you're gonna like me as much as you used to. You know what I mean? You know how you know how it gets. You know what I mean? I'm just not sure you're gonna like me. The way, you know, what is it, like 1985 we met, right? You know? We had a hell of a good time, you know what I mean? We had some really good times. And, uh, I'm just not sure you know what I mean? If we can do the same things we used to, because, you know, the legs and stuff and the wrinkles and stuff, you know what I mean? I'm just not young anymore. I'm just not young the way I used to be. I mean, look, if you wanted to look, I couldn't even show you if you wanted to look. You know what I mean? We could take the lights out and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I want to know that you... still love me, I mean, for what I am, you know what I mean? For just who I am, and, you know, I mean, there's like lots of living in this body. So, can you, can we still have a good time and love each 
Are they like the same? Robert? This is my favorite part right here. Want to hear it? about everything. I care about everybody and everything. And they know it and I know it. And I mean, I've been at this a long time now and I care. I'm one of the original people that cares. And, uh, I, mean, I, I mean, I care about the women's movement and feminism. I mean, this dress I wouldn't wear if it weren't for the women's movement. They gave me freedom to dress the way I want at 59. I care so much that uh, nobody's going to stop me from caring. Not, a, not one person is going to stop me from caring about anything. Not... I mean, this music is beautiful. It's like little birds flying in the air and reminding me of Vivaldi. It sounds a lot like Vivaldi to me. Yeah, but I really care. And I mean, I would love to have you know, made made it to the reunion, but I mean, I'm so involved and uh, I mean, so I'm overcommitted in things that uh, I just wanted to say that <laughs> I just <laughs> want to be a happy person, and uh, I am. I am basically really happy. And, uh, and I just want to say that, I mean, here's a picture that, um, uh, I remember, I remember this, I remember that, and these two people, and, um, um, the dark room and, and there's Stevie here. I remember. And uh, um, I want to say to uh, Ron Alexander and Tom Beard and Mindy Beatty, Alan Bistry and Stanley Bowman, Alan Brooks and Steve Collins and Linda Connor and Judy Dater and Janet Fries and Philip Gagliani and Ingeborg Gertz and uh, Jim Goldberg and Christine Snyder and uh, Bill Good and uh, Debbie Goyle and David Howard and Wanda Hammerback and Max Helwig and Lucy Hilmer and Tim Hobart. Well, Catherine Kowaleski and Marsha Lieberman, Minette Lehman, and Barbara Lemmick, and Michael Lesser, and Julia Loving, Dolores Metzner, and Linda Montano, and David Myers, and Mario Ordonzi, and Mitchell Payne, and John Pearson, and Gypsy Ray, and Matthew Rolston, and Alan Solon, and Gail Sokoff, and Elena Sheena. And I want to say to Sarah Stats and Larry Sultan and Jane Wattenberg Chase and Sarah Windler that, um, you know, I want to say that classical music and um, a really good attitude are what got, get us through. And, um, uh, I know you're all there, and, and you know, 
wishing I could be there with you. And I, and I wish me that a, a really wonderful 65th birthday and uh, um, I want to I want to uh, let you all know that I'm doing fine. You know, I'm doing really good. Uh, if you're ever in my area and you want to meet for a drink or something, you know, let me know. And uh, we could meet for, a, you know, a chat and a drink. And, uh, but, you know, <laughs> Tempest Food Janet and... Um, I'm doing really, really well, and um, I just want you to know that uh, I love everyone, and I really, I really do. I, re I love you all. So have a great time, and uh, you know, smell the roses. <laughs> smell the roses. Part four. Your assignment. You have just seen my performance, Seven Stages of Intoxication. Now it's your turn to create a performance using any ideas from my experience and applying it to your assignment, which is as follows. One, design a three minute or longer time-based performance called self-portrait. Find the theme of your performance by asking yourself, what is the most challenging thing going on in my life right now? Food, sex, money, death, burnout, aging, menopause, etc. Two, use sounds, movements, media, music, all safely to explore your memories, dreams, fantasies, fears, joys. Three, perform for invited friends or co-performers, or alone. Four, get feedback. Five, send a postcard to me telling me of your experience. Send it to Linda M. Montano, The Art Life Institute, 9 John Street, Saugerties, New York, 12477. Part 5. Goodbye. Thank you for your attention. I wish all of you love and luck in your art and your life. Use what you have learned to continue helping yourself and others in your own unique way. Thank you again, and goodbye. If you think you might be an alcoholic, you should call Alcoholics Anonymous Intergroup Association at 1-212-647-1680. If you think you have any other problem, contact the National Self-Help Clearinghouse 120 West 57th Street, New York City, 10019. Phone number 212-586-5770.